If you like the lessons on this channel and would like to support the channel, please consider a donation or heading over to the download store. See the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody, Corey from Gemini Guitar, back for some metal riffing today. So this one kind of reminds me of um, occasionally like the band Dark Throne or throw in this sort of, uh, it's a sort of Celtic Frost, I, ca I call it Rot and Roll. It's got a bit of a rock sort of vibe to it with a dark twist. Now don't forget there's a transcription over at the website so you can follow the link below the video. And if you want to support my work on the channel, the way to do that's through the download store or by donating through PayPal if you would like to do that. So there's also links for that below the video. We're going to begin on a low E power chord. I am in standard tuning. The guitar is a DBZ Halcyon, and I'm actually using the Kuwasa Amplification 1 plugin today. Starting with a low E power chord twice. Got the G power chord back into the low E a couple of times, so it's... B flat in the sixth position to the A. Actually, it's a bit more spaced out than that. So bar one will sound like this. What we're gonna do then is just repeat that two more times, bars two and three. So here's where the position shifting comes in. Starting in the sixth position on the B flat into the A. So you're gonna strum then slide. Shift into the F position at fret one. Strum and slide into the fourth position. Strum that again and slide into the third position. Strum that again, slide into the first position. So that should sound like this. Now in the fifth bar, it's the uh, repeating riff that we were doing to begin with. And the next bar after that, we're gonna begin like that, but then we're gonna change it up with a F and an E power chord in the eighth and seventh position with the index on the, the fifth string. So it sounds like this. Okay, so to finish with then, a fair bit of position shifting to do. We got low E to start out with. This is bar seven, a couple of times of that. In the fourth position, we're gonna strum and slide to the third. Open E again. And a different rhythm here, a bit faster. So sixth into fifth position. So this bar will sound like this. If you hear it faster, it sounds a bit better. So it's got a bit of that Celtic Frost um, procreation of the Wicked sort of vibe about it. And that's what I like about it. I'm a huge Celtic Frost fan from way back. And of course, Dark Throne were influenced by Celtic Frost quite a bit. So to finish up with then more position shifting, sixth and the fifth position. First to fourth, fourth to third, third to first, and of course resolving to the low E power chord. Cool, so that wraps things up. Hope you've enjoyed it, and until the next lesson, bye for now.